Let's calculate the integral we see on the screen. We have to calculate the integral of the square root of x times x minus the cube root of x. And for calculating this integral, we're just going to use the following formula. The integral of x raised to n is equal to x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c, where c is from the set of real numbers, and this formula can be applied always if n is different from minus 1. So, let's express the integral so we can apply the formula using the distributive property we would have first let's express the roots with fractionary exponents the square root of x would be x raised to one half times x minus the, the cube root of x is x right raised to one third now multiplying the monomials we would have x raised to one half times x raised to one is x raised to one half plus one and now minus x raised to one half plus one third this would be equal to one half to one three halves that is x to three halves minus x raised to one half plus one third it would be five sixths now we've calculated the product we had on the integral now let's substitute this product so we would have the integral of x raised to three halves minus x raised to five divided by six d of x and now we can we know that the integral of a subtraction is the integral of each element of the subtraction that would be equal to the integral of x raised to two halves minus the integral of x raised to five sixths now applying the the formula we have down here because the exponents are different from minus one we would have x raised to three halves plus one divided by three halves plus one minus x raised to five six plus one divided by five six plus one plus the constant of course where c is from the set of real numbers now we just have to operate both of the fractions we would have x raised to five halves divided by five halves minus x raised to 11 sixths divided by 11 sixths plus the constant c and now let's operate again the fraction 5 raised to 5 to 5 halves divided by 5 halves would be equal to let's do it down here so we would have x raised to 5 halves divided by 1 times divided by I'm sorry 5 halves cross multiplication this would be 2 times x raised to 5 halves divided by 5 and now if we finished let's express the fractionary exponent as a root so we would have 2 times x raised to the numerator 5 and the root of index the denominator that is a square root and divided by 5 so let's write it up here 2 times the square root of 5 raised to the fifth divided by 5 minus that's doing the, the same with the, f the second element we'll have 6 times the sixth root of 11 raised to the 11th divided by 11 plus c where c is from the set of real numbers this would be the result of the given integral